Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Today I'm going to unbox and review the Xiaomi Mi AX6000 Wi-Fi 6 mesh router. This is a new Wi-Fi 6 router from Xiaomi and Xiaomi is calling it as Wi-Fi 6 enhanced router. But the disappointing news is that it is not a Wi-Fi 6E router because it cannot support 6 GHz network. It can support only up to 5.9 GHz network. So it cannot be classified as a Wi-Fi 6E router. But Xiaomi has given a name that is a Wi-Fi 6 enhanced router. So in today's video, first I'll unbox this router and then I'll show you how to set it up using the Mi Wi-Fi app. And then I'll compare this router with my AX3600 router that is the previous flagship router from Xiaomi. And this is a Wi-Fi 6 router. I'll do a speed and range test of this router and compare it to the AX3600 and I'll show you the results. Before going to the video, I want to request for everyone to subscribe to my channel. Recently, I found out that most of my viewers are not subscribed. As per the YouTube stats, 98.8% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. That means only 1.2% of my viewers are subscribers. So please subscribe to my channel. Now let's go back to the video. So now coming to the specifications of this AX6000 router. It has a Qualcomm IPQ5018 processor. It is a dual core processor and it has a 1 GHz network processing unit. The total speed of this router is around 6000 Mbps, but the actual usable speed will be around 5378 Mbps, and it supports 160 MHz bandwidth, and it also has the AIoT features, and one of the highlight is that it has a 2.5 Gigabit WAN port, so it has a 4K QAM, unlike the previous one that has only 1024 QAM, and uh, it has a 2.5 Gigabit WAN port. This is the adaptive WAN or LAN port, and it has another WAN port that is of 1 Gigabit speed, and it has a dedicated AOT antenna, which can enable connection to the Xiaomi smart devices, and then it will support the Wi-Fi mesh functionality, and this Wi-Fi mesh functionality will be compatible with the previous Xiaomi Wi-Fi 6 routers. So the total maximum speed of 6000 mbps is uh, calculated like this 574 mbps for the 2.4 gigahertz network 4800 mbps for the 5 gigahertz network and for the aiot wi-fi it has 150 mbps 2.4 gigahertz and the 433 mbps 5 gigahertz network so the total is around 6000 mbps and it works with the xiaomi media app and then it will also work with the mi wi-fi app and then this product was manufactured this month that is january 2021 so now let's unbox it and see what is there inside so these are the contents and uh, they have provided a ethernet cable the contents are the same as the AX3600 and the packing is also the same. I think the form factor is also exactly the same. It has uh, six external antennas and one AIoT antenna and the box has a padding here for protection. So that is exactly the same as the previous AX3600 router. And this is the power adapter that is 12 volt 2 amps. And let's take this out. And this is the user's manual. So let's keep the box aside. Let's check the user manual first. I think it will be in Chinese. It's a quick setup guide. So you have to connect the uh, Ethernet cable to the WAN port and then you connect the power and that's it. And you can use the web interface that is a miwifi.com or you can also use the miwifi app. And then it also has a dedicated mesh button here to connect to other xiaomi routers using the mesh network here as you can see it has a mesh or reset so it has a multi-purpose button here and this is the power input here are the lan ports the first one and the second one are wan ports and the first one has a 2.4 gigabit bandwidth and the remaining are all 1 gigabit bandwidth and here it is shown as the router model will be ra72 so the form factor and the design is exactly the same as the previous one if we compare with the previous router here i think it will be the same so it is exactly the same as you can see the power adapter is also the same 
and the dimension are also the same the only the marking is different here it says uh, me wi-fi 6 router ax 6000 with 4k qam and this one only says me aot router ax 3600 the system indicators are also the same the first one is the internet indicator and the second one is the system indicator and these are six external antennas out of which four are 5 gigahertz antennas and two are 2.4 gigahertz antenna and then this is a dedicated antenna for the AIoT feature and that's it for the comparison of the physical features so coming to the comparison uh, both routers seem to have the same Wi-Fi amplifier chips the 5 gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi amplifier chips are the same but the processor is different so now let's set this up I'll put the Ethernet to the WAN port let's power it on now it's powered on as you can see and the system indicator is orange now we have to wait for it to turn blue and then the internet indicator will turn blue only when it has been set up now the system indicator has turned white and the internet indicator has turned orange so we can set it up let's go to the mi wi-fi app before you set it up you turn off your mobile data that is to avoid any confusion during the setup and then now we have to connect to the wi-fi of the ax6000 go to available wi-fi networks and connect to the 5 gigahertz network and you have to keep the connection because it has not been set up yet and then we can go here and then it will find the new router so it has found this new router that is rs72 and we can now set it up and it has already detected the internet connection if you have some triple poe passwords and so on then you have to go to dial-up access and enter your triple poe passwords or you can also import isp settings from your existing router and then you can also go to more options and set this router as a uh, some sort of wireless repeater or wire, wire repeater modes and so on so these are the options that you have for me i don't require any other options so i'll go next here uh, it is asking you to put a wi-fi name and a wi-fi password and then you can set this wi-fi password as same as the password of the administrator account but if you uncheck this one you can set a different administrator password and you can finish so now it has turned white both of the indicators have turned white after the setting is completed you can go to available wi-fi networks and then we can connect to the 5 gigahertz network enter your password and connect now it has been connected to the wi-fi and go back to your mi wi-fi app and you can see the setup has been completed and you can see the available options here let's go to toolbox and see what are the options if you go to settings and you can go to wi-fi settings and here you can change your 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi network and uh, 5 gigahertz wi-fi network you can also change the encryption wpa3 and the signal strength as you can see it is showing as a standard so let's change it to high and even for 2.4 gigahertz you can change it to high and i'll change my wi-fi name and then i'll click ok so that's it for the setup now let's do a quick internet speed test so this is an internet speed test not a local network speed test and i have a 500 mbps internet connection the internet speed test is not a reliable speed test for determining the capability of the router so i'll be doing a local speed test using iperf so i'll be connecting an iperf server to this router and then i will test the local wi-fi bandwidth of this router and compare it to the ax3600 and now let's check the wi-fi analyzer so if you go to wi-fi analyzer and you can see here that you have the xiaomi ax6000 wi-fi network and it is currently showing as a 1200 mbps bandwidth with this router because my device doesn't support 160 megahertz bandwidth it has only 80 megahertz bandwidth support so that is similar to the ax3600 router now before going to the local speed and range comparison i'll show you the settings of the router using the web interface so connect your computer to the wi-fi of the router and then go to miwifi.com as you can see here and then you can enter your password and log in so after you log in you can see the parameters of your router and you can see the devices connected to your router and so on and you can also translate this page it has a mesh networking function here and then you can go to common settings here you can see all of the settings of your router and here you can change the channel of your network and these are the available channels for the 5 gigahertz network and one interesting thing is that it is default to 80 megahertz so you can change it to 160 megahertz and then you can save the settings those are the settings important settings and then if you go to the i that is the status you can upgrade the firmware of your router but this is currently the latest one so no need to upgrade 
and if you go to the advanced settings you can see the qos function the dns port forwarding vpn and others will have the unpnp and if you go to vpn you can see here that you can add a service with the pptp or the LTTP, but it doesn't have any vpn server function so please note that now let's do the speed test and the range comparison now i have completed the local iperf speed test and the range comparison between the ax6000 and the ax3600 I did not find any difference in the range as well as the speed of the Wi-Fi routers. The Wi-Fi amplifiers present in these routers are the same. They have 6 independent amplifiers, 4 5 GHz amplifier and the 2 2.4 GHz amplifiers and both of these routers have the same chips. So I think the Wi-Fi range is not going to change. The upgrade of the AX6000 will be the availability of more bandwidth. It can go up to 5300 mbps speed and if you have multiple devices then it will be able to provide more speed to those devices compared to the AX3600 so that is the main difference between these two routers so the results of the test are shown here I have tested the speed of the router at each location of my house I don't think there is a significant difference between these two routers regarding the speed as well as the range so that was the comparison so now let's check how to configure these two routers in a mesh network so i'll be using this ax6000 as the main router and the ax3600 as a child router so i'll reset the child router that is the ax3600 by pressing the reset button here long press the reset button until the indicator turns orange now the indicator turned off and it should turn orange and you have to wait until indicator turns blue so now the indicator has turned blue so it is now ready for connection to the host router the AX6000 has a dedicated mesh button here so when it detects any compatible mesh routers nearby then it will be flashing this internet indicator so when it starts flashing then you can press the mesh button here and then it will configure the mesh network uh, without using any web interface or the app but currently the firmware of the AX3600 or the AX1800 the Redmi AX5 or the Redmi AX6 these routers are not upgraded to be compatible with the advanced mesh routing of this AX6000 so Xiaomi has promised that the upgrades of the old routers will be done before 31st March of this year and the maximum number of routers that can be configured with this AX6000 router will be 10 so previously they had only support of up to four routers but now they are going to increase it to 10 routers but now you can still configure the mesh between these two routers using the web interface so i'll go to the web interface of the ax6000 here go to miwifi.com and you can log in so after you have logged in you can go to the mesh button here and you can also translate you can search for the mesh routing node and now it has found the ax3600 as you can see here and you can add and you can choose the room here and confirm so now it's adding as you can see it is now flashing the internet indicator here now as you can see the flashing has stopped and then internet indicator has turned on here now as you can see the mesh network was completed and we can go to the connected devices here and you can see here that the ax3600 has been connected to this network so sometimes when you configure the network here even though the mesh was successful it is still processing so you don't need to care about that if the internet indicator turns on here in the child router then the mess was successful and you go to the main page of miwifi.com and you can see that the mesh networking has been completed and you can click here to log into the host router like before and then you can also click here to log into the child router and as you can see this is english firmware and we can log in using the host router's password and you can see that the firmware version is 3022 that is the english version and you can also see here so the mesh network was successful even though the child router has an international firmware and I'm sure it will be working with the Chinese firmware and the remaining Wi-Fi 6 routers from Xiaomi. So that was the Wi-Fi mesh setup. This router will have the possibility of having 10 mesh nodes compared to the 4 mesh nodes previously. Since this router is very new so it is very hard to tell what are the advantages and disadvantages over the previous routers. So in the future I'll keep posting my experience with this router. So that was the review and comparison. I hope you will like this review and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I not only make review videos, I also make setup tutorials, troubleshooting tutorials and I also make custom software and firmware for compatible devices. So please don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video, kindly share it and give a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.